Utah High School in 2004 as a professional school counselor, and I was actually um, the college and career counselor at that time for the first couple of years. Then we decided to split up the college and career duties among each counselor, and each counselor would do the college and career duties for their own alpha students. However, in recent years, Francis Hall North created a position for the college and career counselor, and then Francis Hall Central started a full-time college and career counselor last year. So Central Office asked Francis Hall High School to follow suit and have a full-time college and career counselor so that they could specialize in particular activities that were important to students in this process. A particular interest in helping students determine what they wanted to do when they graduated and kind of plan their life out. We had a financial evening already with David Rice from St. Louis University. Uh, we had over 100 families sign up to attend that. And we will also be having a FAFSA evening this month in October to help parents answer all questions about the FAFSA. Well, some of the things I'll be doing is I'll be going into the classroom for each level. So first semester, I'll be going in to visit seniors um, to go over their score accounts with them and explain how to send transcripts and complete their applications. With juniors, I will be going into the classroom to get them signed up for the Missouri State College Fair, as well as helping them create a score account and do a college search. Second semester, I'll be going into the sophomore classrooms to help them work on a resume and create a score account. For the freshman classrooms, I'll be going in there and having them create a score account and complete the youth science assessment. The career inventory that's based on a series of eight individual games slash quizzes that kids can take to help them come up with a career cluster of jobs that they might be interested in. I'll also be going into the junior classroom second semester to help them learn more about making college campus visits. I will have drop-in days every Wednesday for seniors to come down and work on their college applications and scholarships. I will be working with students on the early college program. So right now we have 99 students that are taking classes over at the St. Charles Community College or some other university. And so I'll be helping students with that process. I'll be helping to plan, organize, and host uh, parent college evenings such as financial aid night, FAFSA frenzy, the college application process, uh, college essay writing tips and other evenings. I also will be the liaison for the college and military representatives that come to our school, which right now they're setting up virtual visits after school. I'll be running the college basic groups for juniors second semester that need extra help uh, preparing for the college application process. So that'll be an eight week unit where kids will learn everything they need to know about getting prepared for college. I'll be completing all letters of recommendation for the Common App and for college applications. I will be completing the National Merit Scholarship Counselor portions of the ap applications. And I will also be updating and sending out our school profile every year. Most colleges are just looking at your GPA and ACT. If you're planning on applying to prestigious schools, however, they're also going to want to see um, rigorous coursework such as AP classes and honors classes, as well as a well-rounded resume of club sports and activities. I mean, going in-state allows you to receive a reduced tuition if you're attending a public school. Going out of state and also internationally helps to expand your horizons and expand your global perspectives. I do plan to put a more of an international emphasis on our college and career program. And we do have our first international college visit set up to visit with students. It's Jacobs University from Bremen, Germany. And even if you're not interested in studying in Germany, uh, this college visit is wonderful because they're going to go over the paperwork process on how to file for a visa and things like that. Good idea to look at colleges outside your state or country, especially if you're planning on moving there after you graduate or doing some type of international job. That way you can also get a foothold in that community. Going out of state also makes sense for certain programs and majors that may have a better program or college for that particular major. If you start early, I would recommend starting in August before you actually come back to school. If you can get your applications done in August of your senior year, then when you come back to school, you can really just focus on applying for scholarships and on your academic senior year. And also pay careful attention to details and deadlines for applications. You don't want to turn an application that's missing a Thanks for letting me talk today and I look forward to uh, working with all the students this year.